build up hasn't been bliss. Let me tell you that for a fact. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't drink alcohol, but on my wedding day, I will probably need. I want to look pretty on my wedding day, so I hope this makeup look looks nice. I mean, I know it looks really funny, and you're like, what is going on? If you've come here for a makeup tutorial, get off. Now. Hello, honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. I've probably told you all so many times, you're probably bored of me telling you, but very, very soon, I'm gonna be getting married to my best friend and. I'm going to be doing my makeup today, so I wanted to do my wedding makeup trial with all of you in front of all of you because I need to practice. So if you want to see how I do my wedding makeup, then just keep watching. I am going to be doing my wedding makeup on the day, so this is a really good practice rehearsal for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family of Huns, make sure you hit that like button for this video. I've got so much content coming your way. I promise you I won't bore you too much when the wedding's finished, like the wedding's just over a week away. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got a story time coming for you on Thursday, so make sure you get joined for that because it's a really good story time. Let's get in with doing my wedding makeup. Oh, oh god. So the first product I'm going to take is this. Not that anyone really cares what products I'm going to take because no one probably cares, but I just really want to share with you what products I'm using just so if anyone wants to do makeup, not for their wedding day, but wedding makeup, do it. I mean, the thing is, the wedding makeup that I'm going to be doing today is really soft, natural, glam. So I feel like it's usable for every single day, if you know what I mean. Right, so I'm going to take the La La Retro Whipped Cream from Drunk Elephant, only because apparently this doesn't have silica in it, and I'm not meant to have silicone on my wedding day, am I? No, because it'll make everything fall off. I don't know what I'm saying. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing with this is, I'm going to be actually giving my face a massage. Also, that is cream. Oh, nearly gone in my eye. <laughs> If you've come here for a makeup tutorial, get off now because your baby girl will not be giving you a good one. But I've been told to really, really massage the skin to give it that plumpness that we all love. I don't know what I'm doing. So then I did actually get my brows and my lashes done. So my brows are looking tip top. We love them. I'll link everything in the description, by the way, all the products I use and like where I got my lashes done, where I got my brows done. So you can go and check them out if you want. We're going to take the Benefit Gimme Precisely My Brows, not Gimme Brow. <laughs> I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the colour 4.5. And I'm really not going to do too much to them because they've already been tinted. I'm happy with the shape of them. I think sometimes you just have to fill in sort of sparser areas, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna kind of go round like that and just love my little life. Yeah, see, that's enough for me. I want a really soft, natural brow and I'm glad I got them tinted because I feel like brows are the thing that either go amazingly or go really badly for me and I didn't want that pressure on my wedding day. Like, I don't want to be worrying whether my brows are gonna be symmetrical or not. I know they're not because they're sisters, they're not twins. When I said that yesterday, the brow lady was really proud of me. I was like, baby girl, I got your back, I got your back. This is the brow that's a little bit more sparse. Nearly just poked myself in the eye, it was wonderful. I will go over with a brow gel at the end, but not right now. Because I feel like I don't want to fully set them, just in case I want to make any amendments while I'm going through. I've still got all my brushes in bags, but I need to use them before I go. Because the thing is, I don't want really clean brushes. Because I don't like really clean brushes, because I feel like... They're too clean. I'm just gonna take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just gonna carve out my brows. I don't want like a, you know what I mean? Like, I want everything to be really soft and subtle and natural, but last, that's my biggest worry. Like, what if my makeup doesn't last? No, it will last, won't it? Yeah, well, better do. Now here is where it gets exciting, because we're gonna do all of our eyes right now. Obviously this would happen to me, I have a little bit of a red eye. We could say it's pink eye. It's definitely not pink eye. I don't even know what pink eye is. Isn't it when someone farts on your pillow? Spencer didn't do that. But I basically, when I got my lashes done, I think a little bit of the glue got in there and it hurt me a little bit. So can you see it's a little bit red? I'm praying it goes. Today I'm gonna go to Boots and get some drops, but it better go because I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving for Italy tomorrow. So this is the last time I get to really play with makeup because I'm gonna be on the road, you know, we're driving with my dad. I'm gonna be taking the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to be taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the colour Ground Work because we are about to make the ground work. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to take this on a Morphe M441 all over my lid. Give us a nice little brown colour. It's a really light brown. Like when I mean brown, it's really not brown. It's like a nudie brown. This I haven't done any makeup when I've been wearing these lashes because I've been so worried that they're going to come off before the wedding because basically I had to get them done earlier because we're leaving for the wedding and I don't get married straight away. So let's just hope it all goes tip top. 
Probably won't. But I'm going to give myself like four hours to get ready on the wedding day anyway. That'll be enough. Then, this isn't actually the right one I want to use, so I need to go into Brighton today to get it because the lady gave me the wrong one. I think this is a shimmery one. Anyway, this is the Eye Curl in Teddy. This is a bit too dark for me. I wanted Costa Riche, so I'm going to get Costa Riche. But what I'm going to do with this is I will look really funny and I really apologise. Should I do one eye for you? Which one's better? I think this one's better to talk to you. I'm going to draw in my crease. You're like, this is a wedding makeup, I know. But... Then I'm just going to bring it round and go over the top of my eye here. I mean, I know it looks really funny and you're like, what is going on? But I promise you, oh my god, I look crazy. I promise you, it will actually work, I promise. I mean, this is a lot darker than the one I actually really want to use, but we're going to ignore it. So now what I'm going to do is, I am literally just going to rub this in and blend it in, but we still want it to stay sort of dark and creamy and sultry but not too dark. So I'm just gonna blend this out and brush it in. I promise you, Hans, this will actually work. Like, trust me, because if you don't trust me, then I don't even trust myself. And then I'm just gonna start winging it into place. I don't think anyone ever joined my channel to watch me for makeup. If you did, then thank you. Like, you have faith in me and I love you. But if you are just here for the fact that you like me, then I love you even more as well. And then if you're here for the fact that you like me kind of doing makeup and you like me, then you're the best. Then we are going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, it's brand new. Oh, nearly fell out my hands, nearly broke all the shadows. Wonderful. So I'm going to take this sort of browny colour here. It's so sad when a white brush becomes so dark. It's like, no, you're not clean anymore. Even though Imogen doesn't want clean brushes. I'm one big walking, talking contradiction. Hello. I remember when I first met Spencer, I was like, don't try and kiss me. And then when he wasn't trying to kiss me after a couple of dates, I was like, is he going to kiss me? And my mum was like, I told him don't try and kiss you. I was just, honestly, I, I don't even know who I was. I was just Mrs. Closed Off Independent. I hate men. And now I'm, I love him so much. Right, so I'm just going to pat this over just to set that shadow in place. I love the paint pots from MAC because it shines through. Can you see it's like really light, but also it's going to keep your shadow on all day. I mean, this is going a lot darker than I would have hoped. But it's fine because I just nearly went to go in there. Angels, can you believe I'm getting married? Like, I can't actually believe it myself. I have actually got a story time on Thursday about my journey to love. A lot of my OGs who have stayed with me will know that I was very much, don't come near me, like, I will be single for another five years. I was single for a good five years, hun. So, you know, and I'm 26. Like, it's not like I'm young. I'm still young. I'm still young. I bet like, no. So annoying. I just chat so much rubbish when I'm doing makeup. Actually, no, I chat rubbish every single day. <laughs> Doesn't need to get makeup involved. I just chat rubbish. I feel like it looks nice. It does look nice. It's going to be smoky, smoky, sultry, sexy. Then I'm going to go into Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to take the colour Orange Soda. Please don't zoom in. Actually, you can zoom in because I'm a mess of a human. Like, what is this? Then I'm just going to take this as my transition and just keep blending this in. This is going to add warmth back. This is going to blend everything in. This is going to give me a little pop of that orange colour that we all know Imogen loves. And I just feel like it makes it look warm and cute. And <laughs> I want to look pretty on my wedding day. So I hope this makeup look looks nice. Can you comment below and tell me if you were like me and never thought they were going to get married in their life? And just comment below and tell me if you think you've given up hope on men because please don't please don't give up on men like not everyone is the same as the last or don't give up on women if you're watching me and you're you know with a woman please don't give up on them because there is someone out there for you i promise you that like genuinely i had given up hope i was like nah i'm gonna live my life i'm gonna earn money i'm gonna live in a big mansion i'm not gonna have a boyfriend or anyone to annoy me upset me hurt me cheat on me lie to me like i was so worried about everything and then i met spencer and he just proved me wrong princesses he proved me wrong I'm not gonna get emotional because the lashes need to stay intact. Then let's get sparkly and let's get cute. I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm going to take these two colours mixed together. So I'll probably work with this one first, then pat this one over the top. So let's do it. I'm so bad at this. I feel like there are so many girls on YouTube that are just amazing. They've got that makeup tutorial down to a T and there's me. I mess up. I'm sitting here with a dress with a label still on. I've got everything on the floor around me. I still haven't even taken my brushes out of the packaging. Like, who am I? And what am I trying to be? <laughs> I'm just going to spray it with the Morphe Continui. So you don't even know how to speak. Continuous setting mist. There you go. Oh, 
I feel a bit more like a bride now. You know, when it's like all coming together. I think the thing I'm most nervous about for the day is making sure that everyone else is okay. Like I want them to have a good time. I want them to get up and dance. Like I don't want to think about myself. Like I'm so worried about them. I can't help but think of everyone else. I just, I don't know. That's just, that's just in me as a person. So once I get there and I'm more chilled, I'll feel better. I'm nervous about getting into my dress. I'm nervous about getting the right photos for the dress. Like I really want the dress to just look amazing. I can't wait to show you my dress. Like, I'm so excited, but I just, I'm worried you guys won't like it. I'm just so worried. I'm a worrier. I am such a panicker. Like I worry about everything. I worry about silly things that most people probably wouldn't worry about, but that's me. Then I'm just gonna take this shadow, which is called Little Lady, is it? It's on the back, but I can't work out whether it's flipped or not. And then I'm just gonna pat this over the top and the center just to give me even more of a glow. So far, this is going really well and I'm really, really happy. I think it's because I'm chilled because I've got you guys. Like, talking to you guys makes me feel so much more relaxed. I don't know, is that crazy to say? But it does, it really does. Like, it just makes me feel more at home. But yes, also, we are filming everything for the wedding day, so I'm so excited for you to all see all of that. Sharing all this journey with you is amazing because I wouldn't be here without all of you. Like, I wouldn't be doing YouTube without all you guys. I probably wouldn't have met Spencer without all of you guys. So, oh God, sorry, I'm so annoying. How am I ever gonna do my vows? How am I actually gonna deal on the wedding day if I can't even talk to my best friends now? I just feel like you have no idea how you guys have changed my life, genuinely. And it's only right that I share this whole journey with you because you're my best friends and you're such a big part of my life. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna take this, I spent a lot of money on this, so it better be a good one. No, I have actually been trying out, and I really, really like it. It's the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. The reason I think this is amazing is it, the reason why I love this primer is, I have normal to dry skin, but I want a matte finish on my face because it's gonna hopefully be sunny, touch wood, all of you touch wood please. But I need something matte for the day so my face doesn't sort of get oily in the sun. You know, sometimes makeup slips and slides, but the problem is when you have normal to dry skin, I'm sure a lot of you angels feel me, you can't have a matte primer because your face is dry. So matte just clings to it. I feel like once you've done your skincare in the morning, like I'm gonna do a nice face mask, this primer is unbelievable because it's a matte finish, but for dry skin, it's not drying at all. It's absolutely unbelievable because it has hyaluronic acid, kind of plumps the skin. And like my face feels so hydrated, but also, Everything sets matte. I love it so much. Honestly, that primer was expensive, but for a wedding day, like, I can't even express it enough. I feel gutted that I'm, like, wasting it now for a trial. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, that pump was probably, like, £17. And I'm joking, it's not that much money, but still. Foundation time. Let's do this. I'm very excited slash really nervous. So, I'm going to be taking two different colours of foundation just because I'm, like, an in-betweener. So, I'm going to take Punjab and Stromboli from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Foundation, the long wear one. So, I'm just gonna kind of pump it on the back of my hands. You know, you know, you know. This is actually madness. If you watch back some of my old videos, I'm like, I'll never get a man. I'll be single for another five years. I don't care if he doesn't come into my life and he's not a good one, he's out. Can't cope, can you? Like, I think what you put out in the universe, you actually get back. Like, I put out in the universe, I wasn't gonna deal with a boy again, excuse my language. And then Spencer came along. It's crazy. Right, I'm gonna take a brush for this because I feel like beauty blenders, you lose a lot of the products. So I'm gonna take Morphe M439 and I'm just going to buff this into my skin by patting it. See that color I feel like is perfect for me. I would suggest, not that anyone's probably watching this getting married, but you don't wanna to try too many new products. Like if you like something, stick with it. Oh, we need to go down the neck, don't we? If you like something, don't try and change it before your wedding day because it'll just go wrong, won't it? And you'll be worrying about it. That's the thing. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't drink alcohol, but on my wedding day, I will probably need a tiny bit of a drink. I hate alcohol though, that's the problem. Like, I don't like the taste of alcohol. I'm probably gonna have like a little bit of champagne. I hate it, sorry, but I know lots of people do like it, but I'm gonna have a little glass of champagne just because your princess will probably need to calm her nerves. But I don't wanna be drunk or tipsy or anything. I'm not gonna be. Maybe throughout the course of the night. The thing is, I've not drunk in years, like six years or something. So for me to actually go and get drunk, it would probably take a sip. Do you know what I mean? So maybe I won't be having a sip. 
maybe I'll have a sip but make sure I eat but then I'm not gonna want to eat loads because you'll see it in my dress ah oh, <gasps> the stress just quickly before I forget I'm gonna take that shadow that we used at the beginning not the beginning just a minute ago I'm just gonna take that on my brow bone just to give me a little pop there you know I still want to be a glowy goddess I'm thinking how much highlight should I wear because what if the sun makes me look like a beamed up prinny? But I will love it. Like, if I'm a beamed up angel princess pie, I am glowing to the moon. I'm going to love it. I'm going to actually love it. So it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Concealer, I'm going in with Nails Radiant Creamy in the colour Custard. What's that song? Raindrops on roses. No, it's not that. Custard. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. No, isn't her name something custard? Chitty chitty bang bang. Is her name something custard? Oh my god, I'm rubbish. I will not be using any makeup on the build up. Like, I've got another separate bag for makeup, you know, that I will be using on the day, and then another separate bag which I'll use like when I'm traveling down to Italy. So, I am going to use a brush to blend it out. I will go over with my beauty blender, like at the end, but I feel like a brush is just not going to take the product off too much. Plus, Makeup artists use brushes, don't they? So I feel like I should be doing something a little bit more makeup artist-y, shouldn't I, for my wedding day? I've been so emotional leading up to the wedding, though. Like, I know I'm emotional anyway, in general. Like, I cry all the time. But I have been crying 24-7. And the thing is, I know I don't share a lot of the behind the scenes of the stress because I don't really want to stress anyone else out. But there's been a lot of stresses. And the thing is, I love my wedding dress lady so much because they made me feel so normal because I thought I was the only one that has these different stresses and certain things were happening, which I'm not gonna go into for people's privacy, but certain things were happening during the wedding. And I mean, if I told you, you wouldn't even be able to believe it, like that people would put someone through stress like that when they're getting married. But unfortunately, people don't have the same intentions as you or the same morals as you. And my wedding dress ladies just said to me, listen, Imogen, it happens all the time. Like it really does. So I think they made me feel a lot more comfortable in the sense that, Everyone says your wedding day is meant to be like bliss. And I can't wait for the actual wedding day, but the build up hasn't been bliss. Let me tell you that for a fact. The build up has not been bliss at all. It's been so stressful. It's actually brought me and Spencer so much closer together because we've been so tested before we get married. Like genuinely, we have been tested. And if anything, it's made us so much closer and so much more like, oh my God, we're actually gonna be with each other for the rest of our lives. And it's made me feel so trusting of him and him trusting of me that we've got this. Like whatever life throws us, we will just attack and tackle together. The harder the tests, the better the, the reward, I think. Any tests I've been through in life, I think, well, I'm out of it now. And, you know, it might have been hard for me and Spencer, but we've got each other and it's brought us so much closer and made us realise that in this life, you know, you don't have a lot of people around you. You know, I have three best friends and I love them so much, but, you know, other than that, obviously I've got all of you and you are the best things in the whole entire universe, but I'm not going to plant all of my issues onto you and make you worry, you know. I'm just going to go over the beauty blender and just kind of really make sure I haven't got any creases under my under eyes, just because... Once we put powder in there, if you've got creases, you're staying creased. Oh my god, does anyone put makeup on and they get really itchy on their face? Or is it just me? Oh my god, I'm so itchy and I can't touch it! Oh my god, I'm so itchy. Oh! Oh no! Right, so powders has been the biggest stress of my life. Oh, I'm still so itchy. Ah! Powders have been the biggest stress of my life because I have normal dryly skin. Dryly skin. <laughs> dryly. I have normal to dry skin and Laura Mercier translucent powder is unbelievable, but for my wedding day, I don't want to see a lot of powder in photos. And I feel like Laura Mercier is such an amazing coverage, amazing powder. It's a bit too drying for my wedding day. So I've got a mixture of three. I've got this one, which I was recommended to. It's the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder from Urban Decay. Then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush, Airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the color medium then i've also got the hourglass dim light powder which is meant to look amazing and it's meant to set your foundation and everything in place place i'm just going to take this brush which is the morphe m501 and i'm really just going to be so light with this because i want to be set in place i don't want to be oily and i don't want my skin to move but then also i really don't want to look like i'm wearing a lot of makeup I don't want up close in photos for you to be like, wow, she be powdery, you know what I mean? So using a nice soft brush, I'm not going to be baking. I'm so excited. 
I wish you could all be there with me, but you will be because you'll see that all the videos and all the behind the scenes stuff and I'll be vlogging probably on the day, like how nervous I am and stuff. And you know, you are gonna see a lot because like I said, I wanna share this journey with you. And also it's nice for me to be able to look back. And also I can't explain to you, your comments on my wedding dress videos, your comments on my wedding hair, makeup, everything. Like you have been amazing. You have given me so much confidence for this wedding and you've just been so amazing and lovely. And when I felt really down with certain stresses that were going on during the wedding, during the planning, you've made me feel so much more secure and supported. So I just wanna say thanks for that. So I can't wait to show you everything on the day. And I'm just gonna go over the top with the Charlotte Tilbury one, just to kind of really set that into place and give me a bit more of an airbrush finish. I mean, if Charlotte, you're lying to me and you're not gonna give me an airbrush finish, then Tilbs, I'll be talking to you. Why do I act like Charlotte Tilbury's my best friend? She doesn't even know who I am. And she never will. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back underneath our under eyes just quickly and I'm gonna take this, which is the Studio MAC Chromographic Pencil in the color NC15. So I'm just gonna go into my waterline, which is really difficult to film. So I'm really sorry. Sweet like candy canes on Christmas. What was that from? A Disney Channel program, what was that from? Oh my goodness, if anyone remembers that, please let me know. No one's gonna remember it. It was something like The Sweet Life or something. I was such a Disney Channel girl. Then we're gonna go back with that brown, where was it there, that we used earlier? I forgot where it was. And just really blend this out, make it really smoky and really nice. I don't want it really dark underneath my under eyes just because I feel like then it can make me look a bit heavy. I want it to be quite sultry and smoky and cutesy. Then I'm gonna go back with orange soda and just really further blend this, bring this down a bit more. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this Teddy, which will be obviously the Costa Riche on the day, and just put the tiniest bit there, just because next to the white pencil, it looks really nice. Like it really makes your eyes pop when, you, when you've got like a dark, liner next to the white liner. Then I'm going to take the Benefit Hula bronzer in the color Caramel, Caramel. And I'm just gonna really bronze up and work this into my face really lightly though. So I don't go too thick and heavy. Your baby girl is like actually so close. I'm leaving tomorrow. Like I'm gonna get my nails done today and then we leave at three o'clock in the morning. My dad's excited. He's taking paddle boards in the car so we can go paddle boarding when we're away, but I don't really want to get my face too wet because I want these lashes to last. Like, last night, you'll die at this. <laughs> I got a story. Because I don't want to get my eyelashes wet. I didn't get in the shower for two days because she was like, don't get them wet for 48 hours. So I said to Spencer, can I lean over the bath and you wash my hair? So baby girl, smells a bit because she hasn't washed. Oh, I can't believe I'm telling you that, but it'd be true. I can't lie to you, we're best friends. So yeah, that is my life. I haven't washed yet. I'm going to wash tonight though. I'll get in the bath, I'm not gonna get in a shower because it always, they get wet there, don't they? I have so much stuff I need to buy today. Like, I've just left it so last minute, as per usual. But Spencer's packing my case because he's the organized one, I'm not. He's very good at stuff like that. He's very good at stuff like that. He's Mr. Organized, I'm Mrs. Unorganized. So we work perfectly. Then I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade in Light and this is in the color Shadow Play. It's a little individual one, so it's really good. I actually went and bought the whole contour palette and then I realized I already had this, so it was a wonderful waste of money. Actually, it's not because I'll still use it, but I'm glad they do a single like this because I only want that color, those two colors, really. Give me a little contour, you hun bun. Give me some cheekbones. Do we feel like it's coming together? Do we feel like it's bridal? I feel like it is. <laughs> so what I need to do now is just take a little bit of waterproof mascara. So this is the False Lashes from MAC Waterproof. If I can get her open. I'm just gonna take this on the bottom lashes, just a little bit. Because we're gonna need waterproof lashes, let's be real. We are gonna need a waterproof makeup because your baby girl will be crying her eyes out because I'm an uncontrollable mess. <laughs> then for blush, I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals Pretty in Pink blusher. And I'm gonna take this on the Morphe M405. I know I need to layer a lot of blush because blush really doesn't sit on my skin. I don't know about anyone else, but does anyone else feel like that? Like my makeup stays on, sometimes it comes off on my nose, but the blusher, for me, like, it just falls off. It's like it kind of sinks into my skin and I'm like, oh, see you later, blush, didn't need you anyway. Oh my God, I'm nearly getting married, I can't cope. I feel like I finally got my Disney fairy tale, like I finally am I gonna be a Disney princess. I lost all hope of that and I love Disney. And everyone should be a princess. 
You wait for your prince, Hans. He will come. Then I feel like lips are really difficult, but I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Iconic Nude. So normally I do overline my lips, but for my wedding day, I really don't want to, because I want it to just be softer and more natural. I will be exfoliating my lips in the morning because my lips are the driest things in the world. So then I ummed and ah between Penelope Pink, another one, Nude Kate, I think. I think this one is pretty much Perfect. It's very soft. Penelope Pink. I think that's the right one, Hans. Right, so I saw this on Jamie Genevieve's channel and she actually put ooh, some sunglasses on while she sprayed her setting spray. Because then your eye makeup don't get touched, which we love. I don't have a fan. I need a fan. What's this? What is this? Will this work? No. A little bit. A little bit. <sighs> okay, I think we're finished. I actually think we're finished. So, my, oh my god, this is making me really emotional. This is my wedding makeup. So, I really like the skin, it's really soft, it's really natural, I love the eye makeup, I love everything about it. I love how it's just very soft and glamorous, but still natural and not heavy, but still giving me a nice complexion, a nice glow to the skin. Oh my god, next time you see me then. Next time you see me with this makeup, I will be getting married. I'll be changing my last name. My dad will be walking me down the aisle. I'm getting emotional because I'm so excited. It's what I had dreams of when I was younger. Like I never, I never thought I'd get here. You know, I grew up and became quite bitter towards men and then now I'm actually getting married. Like honestly, I lost all hope. And I was such a Disney princess when I was younger. I really loved love. You know, I saw my parents grow up loving each other and I'm now gonna be able to make a, you know, a wholesome family home with the love of my life. So there you go. I really hope you liked everything in this. I'm sorry, I'm really subdued now. I'm really like quiet and like, because I'm just so excited. So yeah, there you go. That is my finished makeup look. I'll come a bit closer. I'll link everything I use in the description below. Please make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up just because just to support me, please. And also make sure you subscribe because I've got so much more wedding content coming your way. And also I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So I feel like I've got three videos a week. That's consistency content. We love, we love, we love. We love a consistent queen. Okay, well, until next time, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. I love you all so much. Oh my God, I love you all so much. You have no idea. Bye. Wow. Oh my God. I can't stop getting emotional, it's so annoying. So annoying because I'm going to ruin my makeup. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye.